hey guys welcome back to the channel so i just wanted to come on here and do an official two week update on my orotain journey i've officially done 14 pills so there's 15 and on a tray i've got 16 left um for this for the first month on orotain then I must just carry on with the treatment but I wanted to give a two week update because I am noticing a few changes in my body and my appearance and my mood and all those things let me catch my breath because I was just working out and when I tell you the knees I'm not doing what Megan the Stallion knees have been doing okay anyway excuse my appearance also I'm just on here quick update so I am noticing a few changes in my skin and I have been experiencing slight effects um, it's not as hectic as it was the first time me being on this medication in the two-week mark of me taking the medication I've noticed that my skin is a lot more dry now so on my face let me take my glasses off. So on my face, if I don't have any moisture on, I can feel the sensitivity of the dry skin on my face. It's like, it feels like it's cracking on these areas. It's a little sore when I don't have moisture on. Right now, I just put on Vaseline and sunscreen, which is like standard procedure. Sunscreen. But um, because of the isotretinoin, I don't know if that's how you say that word, but because of that, I'm noticing that I'm noticing that um, the dark marks are fading a lot faster. Um, and I have been purging this week, so I'm breaking out, but that was expected. My complexion looks a lot better so it looks a lot even um the fine lines so like wrinkles on my face look better um the only thing that i'm experiencing from the negative side of things again is the dry skin my ears are even dry and flaking it's crazy so i have to lather my ears with vaseline as well um my joints surprisingly are not painful at all or yet and i'm fingers crossed that it doesn't get to that point but i also i'm assuming that's because of the workouts um i've just been drinking a whole lot of water um and i think that's been beneficial in terms of just hydrating myself my lips also they don't look bad right now because i have something on my lips but when i don't put something on them when i don't put something on them obviously it feels like my lips are gonna crack so i just pack on any lip gloss vaseline that i can before it even gets bad stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready basically and I also do that around my mouth around my nose because those are areas that are extremely dry right now but I'm also assuming because and I get a lot of oil production here and here in my t-zone area basically and so because of the medication is just like absorbing every inch of oil that I have so now it's just it feels like sandpaper my body is not so bad because again i'm taking all precautionary measures to make sure that i am moisturized but yeah just wanted to do this quick two-week update and i'll see you guys on the flip side 